There are five main elements to creating a comic book. There's the story, there's the pencils, the inks, the colors, and the letters. Sometimes these five elements are done by one person, and sometimes individually. Ronnie Porto came up with the initial concept for the accelerators and had been developing it as a feature film script. So when we decide to turn into a comic, we all flesh out the characters and the story to fit the medium. Ronnie then wrote the script for issue number one. I've been working on the accelerators for a couple years, on and off, thinking about it mostly as a feature film. And while I was doing that, the Blue Juice guys had decided they wanted to make a comic book. So when they came to me, they asked, do you have something that you want to pitch, maybe? Something sci-fi, something action-adventure? I told them I had something. We wanted something that was cinematic, but also just had a great story. And that's what Ronnie delivered. We decided to take our time outlining the project, and we took about four months beating the story out, issue by issue, so that we had the entire first arc of the series completely thought out, and all of the rules of the world figured, and all of the ideas about our characters and where they might go, both in this arc and beyond, all figured out. We were basically looking at issue one like a TV pilot, so we paid a lot of attention to the outline to make sure we got it just right, since we were building the rules of the Accelerator's universe basically from the ground up. There's a pretty amazing tradition of time travel stories that involve people going back in time and rewriting history or dealing with paradoxes. And that's not exactly what I was interested in when I was writing The Accelerators. To me, what's exciting about time travel isn't the idea of going into the past and changing things. What's exciting is the idea of going forward, of the idea of the unknown future as a, a possible destination for someone. So I wanted to write a story in which characters were thrown into the unknown and had to deal with the possibilities. After the script for issue one was finished, it was time to find the artists. 